Hi everyone. Today I am giving long answers in biology. First one, confirmation of starch experiment. See here. So this is the first activity in our textbook. Second question, moles of leaf experiment. So this is also very very important for even eight marks also. So here one more important two marks question in this question. Why we are using KOH? It means potassium hydroxide solution in this experiment. This is also important. Third question: Sunlight is essential for photosynthesis. We know very well sunlight is one of the important factor for photosynthesis. How this sunlight is important or necessary for photosynthesis? We need to write it here. Next one: Hydrilla experiment. Okay. But in examination, sometimes they will ask in different way also. How can you prove that oxygen liberated or released during photosynthesis? So they will ask in this way also. Fifth question: Differences between light and dark reactions. It is very very important. Sixth one: Human digestive system means what are the digestive enzymes are present in the human. Seventh one. parasitic nutrition in cascata we know very well parasitic nutrition it is the one type of heterotrophic nutrition cascata plant leafless plant it means there is no chlorophyll so automatically they need to depends on other organisms for food so how they are collecting food from other organisms we need to write it here we know very well the plant they can use hastorias next malnutrition we know very well about nutrition so malnutrition we need to write it definition and what are the nutritional deficiency diseases we need to write it here okay last one differences between autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition in lesson number 2 steps in respiration differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration differences between photosynthesis and respiration heat is released during respiration so this is the fourth activity in our textbook how it is releasing during respiration we need to write it here we have an experiment with the sprouts and even fifth question also carbon dioxide is released in respiration this is also experiment will done by sprouts and question number 6 what is the role of epiglottis and diaphragm in the respiration it is very very important for eight marks next mitochondria diagram and the next question how gaseous exchange takes place alveolus to capillaries we have this answer in textbook ninth question anaerobic respiration in yeast cells lesson number 3 transportation here first question internal structure of human heart second question types of blood vessels so we have three types of blood vessels in our body so we need to write it about these three types third one differences between arteries and veins fourth one cardiac cycle okay what is the cardiac cycle how heart is producing lub dub sounds here we will write it next one differences between single and double circulation sometime they will ask like a flow chart also sixth question coagulation of blood it means blood clotting how blood clotting takes place in the body we will write it here next one root pressure experiment and eighth one absorption of water through the roots next transportation first question structure of nephron and we know very well in structure of nephron we can see malphian body and renal tubule second one mechanism of urine formation in urine formation it has four steps so this question is important and dialysis machine nothing but it is also called as artificial kidney next excretion in other organisms so in textbook we have in table manner and this is also important for four marks fifth question accessory excretory organs next question accessory excretory organs it means what type of excretory products is excreted by lung skin liver and large intestine here we need to write it next alkaloids next question differences between primary and secondary metabolics last question differences between excretion and secretion in fifth lesson structure of nerve cell types of nerves and the structure of brain it means meninges gray matter white matter what are the parts present in the brain 
we need to write it and next one functions of brain what is the function of forebrain midbrain hindbrain here we need to write it reflex action and reflex act and phytohormones phytohormones is nothing but what are the plant hormones and tropic and nastic movements in the plants it means phototropism geotropism hydrotropism chemotropism thigmotropism it is very very important for four marks and also eight marks mimosa putica it means it is a touch me not plant so it is important lesson number six mode of asexual reproduction and differences between sexual and asexual reproduction and it is very very important question differences between mitosis and meiosis and next one double fertilization in plants and male and female reproductive systems diagrams seventh one cell cycle and eighth one it is the most important question sperm cell diagram lesson number eight heredity here first question why mendel selected pea plants for his experiment second question what is phenotype genotype and its ratios important for four marks third one mendel law of dominance law of segregation law of inheritance important for eight marks sex determination in human beings okay important for eight marks theory of evolution means lamarckism theory of evolution darwinism and next one what is homologous what is analogous with examples last question mono hybrid cross in textbook question number 5 these are the important questions in 10th class biology have you any doubt from these questions please mention in comment box i will explain everything in next video i will give important 2 marks questions